Hey everyone, this is Untold Force, and today we're going to try doing a little thing that somebody on the uh, VKB Discord requested, and that is to configure their uh, Gladiator NXT Evo with a SCG um, to do some interesting things with the, with the mini stick. And I'll go over that first. We're just going to load up the uh, VKB device config software. So I'm going to load that up. We will go to our Gladiator Evo, right? And what we'll do before we do anything is save the configuration. And so I will call this uh, backup. And then I will default the device. So that way it should be very similar to how your device is. All right, so we're just going to configure it. And we'll do a quick calibration. This is not going to be the best calibration ever. I really just want to get everything going. So just going to calibrate all of the main axes there. The mini throttle and, of course, most importantly here, the mini stick. So I'm going to put the mini stick into analog mode and configure everything there. So there we go. All right, that should be the end of device calibration. Now let's move along and see what uh, what we can do. So the first thing that uh, this individual wanted was they want to get the mini stick so it always is in analog mode. And we can do that pretty easily. Um, there's a couple ways to do it. If you still want to be able to switch between the analog mode and the POV mode, then you go to uh, the buttons tab here. Well, sorry, profile here, buttons, physical layer. And we're going to se select the mini stick, which is uh, in this case, button 13 by default. And I'm going to uncheck POV mode on start. Now that, if we saved the device, it should automatically start in analog mode. Um, so we can do a quick test and we'll go to test axes and yep, it started, restarted in analog mode. But this person doesn't want there to be a POV mode on the mini stick. They just want the analog mode. So I'm gonna learn along with everybody else here because I uh, I think we're going to get rid of the POV here on number one, just so it's always in mini stick mode. So it's in analog mode. So, um, yeah, let's go and figure out what we're doing. Um, you know, figure our life out. So the first thing I'm going to go is I'm going to go to global common and then under USB HID controllers, I'm going to select number of POV is zero, and I'm going to set that. Now that should get rid of our POV. Um, and let's see if that fixes it. Yep, that's great. So we have no POV. We are just in analog mode. And just to test it out, uh, I'm going to go to profile buttons. And I'm going to change the U-Stick switch from a U-Stick switch to just a button. So let's see what happens. This is exciting. I haven't done this yet. So the U-Stick switch is a special, special mode. But let's test it out and see if it's just a regular old button and is not a U-Stick switch. It's going to do. There we go. It's button 13. As you can see, I'm pressing button 13. It's lighting up. And let's check to make sure the axes are still working. Good. The mini stick axes are still working. And if we press and hold the mini stick, nothing happens because it is just the mini stick. There is no POV anymore. So that's first. Uh, the first request that this person had was, I just want it to be a mini stick, no POV. We got rid of the POV. It loads in as just a mini stick. Now the second thing that they asked is a more interesting question. And that is, they want 
the mini stick. So here, I'll go back to test. They want this mini stick to activate a button press just whenever it's centered, both horizontally and vertically. And they also want the mini stick to be a button. So we already figured that, that last part out, that last question. The mini stick is a button. Um, we changed that U stick switch on button 13 to just a button with momentary action, and that's done. So the last thing that we have to do is get that extra special button that we want to light up only whenever the mini stick is centered. So I'm going to do it the way I'm most comfortable with, which is uh, create a, a Boolean. Um, so I'm going to go to Profile, then Boolean. And I'm going to create two different axis to button Booleans. One for the mini stick X axis and one for the mini stick Y axis. And I'll, and we will use another Boolean function that whenever it's centered for both the X and Y axis for the mini stick, it will go and trigger yet another button. So let's start um, by explaining the axis to button. So first off, we're gonna go to our axes and see what we're working with because uh, the mini stick, let's see, is currently bound to rotation X and rotation Y. So that's not a problem, we can do that easily. So rotation X, rotation Y. So we're gonna to go to profile, Boolean, and we're gonna bring up the Boolean functions here. So we are gonna click up at the top where it says off. We're gonna use axis to buttons. <laughs> and now I have to figure out which, this is something where I should have taken note, um, which, uh, axis that was. So I have to go back to our axis and rotation X and Y are, uh, this is under logical. So that will be logical axis five and six. So, okay, so we're gonna go and just in case you didn't do this, we're just gonna start with off again. So everything's fresh. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click at the top, go all the way down to axis to button and then we're going to go to uh, uh, logical axis five, all right? Because that will be one of the axes. We're looking for five and six. And then under here, I'm going to select zone and I'm gonna select seven zones. That means it's gonna break the entire axis down into seven segments. The more zones you have, the more buttons it will take, but the more precision you'll get. I think seven should be sufficient for this. Um, and hysteresis uh, percent, we'll go with 0.2%. And then this is our configuration for um, that part. Now, this is the output. This, this is the input side. This is the output side on the right. So on the right, I'm going to select physical buttons just because it's a little easier for me to deal with it. And I'm going to select, i um, going to double click that to bring up all of our buttons. So we've got a whole bunch that are unassigned. And I'll start with 65. So we'll start with 65 and we will, uh, that should take up seven buttons starting at 65. And then we'll create another Boolean function. We will go to access to buttons. And since we did one of the axes, we now have to do the other one. I'm gonna select logical and we did axis five. Now we'll do axis six, repeat the same thing, zone. We'll give it seven zones. 0.2%, and then we'll output to physical, and instead of starting at 65, we'll start at 73. So let's now set this to the device memory and test it out. All right, so first thing we do is we'll check the profile buttons, and we should see that we now have a whole bunch more buttons. If I click poll, we can see that now it will give us a live view of what's going on. So I'm gonna move the um, x-axis on there. We can now see that as I move the mini stick x-axis, it's going and affecting buttons, let's see, 65 through 71. 
Now we'll try the y-axis. There we go, perfect, great. So if I move both of them around, you can see that I can go and adjust a whole bunch of buttons using that mini stick, which is great. Now we have these buttons that are being activated the way we want them to. We just need one more Boolean function, and that is if both 68 and 76 are active, I'll put one more. And let's choose uh, just another random number. I'll choose 49. So again, we're going to go 68 and 76. So we'll create here, and we're going to do two and. And we'll do 68 and 76. And now we're going to output to a virtual button. In this case, I chose button 49 because it's free, and that works. So we're going to set this. And now, whenever the mini stick is centered, it should activate button 49. So we'll just test that out. So we can see now that button 49 is activated. If I move the mini stick off center in any way, button 49 is no longer activated. So there we go. You can see button 49 is not activated because the mini stick's not centered. Now it's activated. Great. Cool. So I think we did all the things that you wanted to do. Number one, mini stick is active by default. Number two, you're able to use the mini stick button, which is button uh, 13, I believe, uh, right here. So let's just test it out. Push it in. Yep. There we go. Button 13 works. And finally, we have this button 49, which is being activated only when the mini stick is uh, centered. So I think that answers all the question and I'll end the video. Good luck. And if you have any uh, questions, you can go and ask them on the VKB Discord.